Peter, the apostle, was, was Jewish, as all the early apostles were. And Peter, after Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension, he begins to preach the gospel to the Jews, and he finds himself in a place called Joppa, which is south of Tel- modern-day Tel Aviv, and he's sitting in Joppa on a rooftop one day, and he falls asleep, and he has a vision. And there's a sheet that comes down from heaven, and he sees all these unclean animals in the sheet, and he hears the voice of God speaking to him, rise up, Peter, kill and eat. And Peter says, God, I'm not going to eat anything in that sheep because they're unclean. I don't eat anything unclean. And God says, don't call anything unclean that I've called clean. And Peter had a revelation which meant that the gospel was to be declared not just to the Jews, but to the Gentiles, those that were outside of the covenant people of God. And, a, and God made clear to him, the Holy Spirit made clear to him that he was to go to a place called Caesarea, and there was a centurion there, a Roman centurion, a Gentile who needed the gospel, and indeed, someone came to Peter's house, he ends up in Caesarea preaching the gospel at at the house of a Gentile, a Roman centurion, you can read about all this in Acts chapter 10, it's a great story to read, and once he gets there, he begins to preach, and the Holy Spirit falls upon these Gentiles, and they're filled with God's Spirit, and they turn their lives over to Christ. And there's the advance of the kingdom and the Gentile community. But I want you to hear what, what Peter is preaching here when he gets there to the house because it really relates to what we're talking about here. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism but accepts from every, from what? Come on, church, help me. From every nation. Accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel announcing the good news of peace through Jesus Christ who is Lord of all. You know what has happened throughout the province of Judea beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached. That's John the Baptist. How God, notice this, what does Jesus do for people? Why do people come to Jesus? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and how he went around doing good and healing all who are under the power of the devil because God was with him. Jesus did that then. Jesus is doing that today because Hebrews 13, 8, we read it a moment ago, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So why do people flock to Jesus? People come to Jesus because a relationship with Jesus will always change your life for the better. 